Hey everyone, it's that time of the year again where we, well, I mean it's the first time of the year for us where we talk about the Game Award stuff. Uh, with me is Homecoming. Hi, I am the hit character Monkey DeLuffy from the hit anime One Piece. Infrequent. Hi, I've never been here before. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're, we're starting this off. Well, probably what I think is the stupidest category, most anticipated. Oh, well, you probably, you probably, did you say what we were doing? <laughs> yeah, we're we're talking about the game nominations, but uh, okay. the game, okay. yeah, the game award nominees. I had to make we're, sure. Okay, <laughs> we're skipping the esports titles because <laughs> because none of us cares. About, because none of us cares about. Yeah, because none of us important. care about esports. It's important to gaming. It's cool if you like esports. You're cool as long as you're not toxic, but. We're not here to talk about I mean, I so. don't think you're cool, but... <laughs> yeah, and, uh... Okay, so... Starting with the most anticipated game, we have Final Fantasy XVI, Sin, Resident Evil 4, Starfield, and Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I mean... Why would... Yeah, there's, there's, like, there's, like, three in here that really deserve to be here. One that obviously doesn't deserve to be any on any list, and then uh, and then Starfield. We stand uh, by our trans friends. Yes, we do. Yeah, and also, also, also Harry Potter just kind of sucks. Yeah, I was I was never a fan to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyway, that, that's a different discussion. Yeah. Uh. So I'm gonna. My my prediction is it's going to be Tears of the Kingdom. See, I will. I don't think it will be. That's probably what I would choose. But I think it actually is probably going to be RE4 because it's it's RE4. Yeah. What about you, Homecoming? I think um, personally, what I want to win versus what I think is going to win, I want Final Fantasy 16 to get a win because. Final Fantasy fans have not had the best of times lately, namely just all of the waiting for Final Fantasy 16. So I hope Final Fantasy 16 wins. That being said, I actually think it's either going to be RE4 or Starfield. I could see Starfield like sneaking in there and having people be like, oh, look at it. It's Bethesda. Look at the Bethesda. I kind of morbidly want like the Game Awards to be tone deaf enough to choose Hogwarts Legacy just so I can see the shit the shitstorm. I, like, I, I don't want it to win, but also it would be really funny. <laughs> and it would be great to see the the reaction of the internet just just absolutely eviscerating the Game Awards panel. Oh, that would be so bad if it won. <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, it would be funny. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, are we ready to move on to the next category? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, so what, what was it? I said RE4, you said Zelda, and then Homecoming said uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're working backwards, so you have to click previous category. Yeah, I don't know why they have this set up like this. Yeah. Uh, so, this? Up, up next oh. is Best Adaptation. And for this, we have... Arcane League of Legends, Cyberpunk, Edge Runners, The Cuphead Show, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Uncharted. Uh, so I've seen none of these. <laughs> I've seen exactly two of these, and the diehard Sonic fan in me is hoping for Sonic 2 to win. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it probably, like, I again, I, I haven't, like, watched any of these. I, I would imagine Sonic probably should win, but what's probably going to win is Cyberpunk or Arcane. Yeah. I I was going to say, three out of these five are universally loved. Um, Cuphead, I feel like people are okay with, but like you didn't hear a lot of buzz about the Cuphead show. You heard more build-up because it was like kind of tied to Delicious Last Course 
And then after Delicious Last Course came out and everyone was like, oh my gosh, Cuphead, season two came out and it came and went. I have a gut feeling that it's going to be Arcane, um, but it's either Arcane or Cyberpunk. But I also want to see Sonic have this win because Sonic is just proof that there can be a good video game movie. Yeah, not to yeah. mention they, they debuted the trailer at the last Game Awards with Ben Schwartz there. Yeah, and Jim Carrey making me very uncomfortable by getting yeah, up what in was, my face. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, like it, it's like Homecoming set. Like Sonic the Hedgehog, like the first movie, just set a new standard for video game movie adaptations, and this just kind of rose the bar even higher. So that's why I'm going with Sonic too. Yeah. Okay, next category, best debut indie title. We have Neon White, Nor is it Norco? Norco? Yeah, Norco, Stray, Tunic, and Vampire Survivors. Uh, as Kitty much as game. I, as yeah, much the as going to win. Yeah, it's like as much as I enjoy Tunic. Let's be real here. It's going to be the cat simulator. <laughs> I mean, kitty game. Uh, Neon White, I think that was that card game shooter. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I wanted to try that, but I never got around to it. The reviews were mixed. I don't know. I, I haven't played any of these. Tunic looked pretty cool because, you know, it's a Zelda lake. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, on the only two I've played were Stray and Tunic, and Stray is actually really good. Stray is a surprise smash for this year as somebody who has played through well I haven't really beaten either of them Tunic the only problem that I have with Tunic is that it is very easy in that game but it is yeah. a very well well made Zelda like game so yeah Tunic I know a lot of people are rooting for Tunic and both of them are fantastic but is going game. to stray. Is is going game. to the cat. Yeah, no, it's definitely going to stray. But it's, it's good to talk about the ones we want rather than just the one that's almost definitely going to win. I think Vampire Survivor could sneak it in. I see people streaming this one constantly. It also doesn't help that this game is like dirt cheap. Also, it's got an outside chance. Uh, it it would help immensely. Uh, if I feel like maybe we more of us should have played more of the game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next category, content creator of the year. I have no opinions. On I this. vote myself. I mean, I'll vote you for Nebelian, I guess. You can't That's... vote for yourself. That's illegal. Oh. Is Nebelian <laughs> the one who's always dropping game news? Yeah. Reliable game news. Yeah, Nebelian. Go Nebelian. I hope you win. Yeah. Nothing against the rest of you. I hope you're all yeah. decent people. Yeah, no, it's that, it's that Thanos thing that I don't even know who you are. <laughs> yeah. Although, Carl Jacobs, his profile picture has a mini golf putter and a mini golf. I would go play mini golf with you as long as you're a decent human being, Carl Jacobs. So hit me up at name and address withheld. Yeah, he, he, lo he looks like a generic white guy, like most of the people. <laughs> What? I, <laughs> real? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, holy shit. What? I just wasn't expecting that. Am I wrong? <laughs> You're not, but oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Now that, I've, now that I've killed rocks. Uh. <laughs> On to the next category. We have best multiplayer game, and we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Multiverses, Overwatch 2, Splatoon 3, and TMNT Shredder's Revenge. I personally am going to give this to uh, Shredder's Revenge just because that's what I want to win, but I also wouldn't be surprised if Multiverses won. Oh, I uh, Overwatch 2 is quite a good experience so that has a chance i really like splatoon 3 i don't think it's gonna win but it's real good um as someone who's played splatoon with people in this voice call who has played multiverses 
with a good friend of mine, and then who also played a full playthrough of Shar's Revenge with Rocks. Shar's Revenge is a dang good multiplayer game. It really emulates that couch co-op. Multiverses, I feel like Multiverses, I don't want to see get it because it's one of those games that after playing it for an hour, I felt very like drained and burned yeah. out. Like, yeah, I, like I can't, I can't really sit there and multiverses it out. I wouldn't mind a Splatoon one. I've played Splatoon with both of you. I always love booting it up every Splatfest and us sitting in a call with our friends and just Splatoon three. Yes, there are still communication errors. Ha ha! It happens every time, but. Splatoon 3 is just a great game. And also, unlike that, uh, Overwatch 2, uh, yeah, at, at least Splatoon 3, all three of us kind of just vibe with it. It's fun. It's like a good feel, like we can boot it up and play it with our friends. Overwatch 2, I've never heard my friends scream more recently. Oh, God. The, the salt was flowing. <laughs> yeah. No, that, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. We... Yeah, it's like, I mean, that's, Splatoon, that's Overwatch. Splatoon 3 gets to me sometimes, but nowhere near as bad as Overwatch 2. <laughs> like, I, it's Part of it's also just, I was a big fan of the first Overwatch uh, until they destroyed it. But, uh, like, <laughs> Split, but Overwatch 2 is very good. I, yeah. It's just, you know, I... I mean, I, for all I know, Modern Warfare 2 could win this. Uh, I've heard it's good, but yeah, I... It... <laughs> In all honesty, it pro- uh, Modern Warfare 2 probably will win. Probably. Yeah. Uh, when I heard uh, Overwatch 2, I just thought of Rox that one night while y'all were trying to defend the point. Tonight the hamster dies. <laughs> uh, Hammond is the worst. Like, our, our, our one of our mutual friends... Uh, loves to hate on like May and Bastion and sometimes Torbjorn, but like no, the the Hammond is the worst. Oh uh, yeah, and May is uh, bad. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. <sighs> Up next is best sports slash racing game. We got F one twenty two, FIFA twenty three, NBA two K twenty three. Gran Turismo 7 and Ali Ali World. And I'm going give, <laughs> I'm gonna give it to I'm going to give it to Ali Ali World cuz I don't give I genuinely don't care about the rest of the Yeah, no, I was going to say can I give it to the one that actually looks like fun? <laughs> um as someone who got Ali Ali World on his birthday, it is a good time. It is a very fun time and has DLC coming up. Ali Ali World is a very well-made skateboarding game. I could see Gran Turismo 7 play, taking it because for people who like those kinds of games, they said that, like, I remember sitting in a call with some of our mutual friends and they would be like, this is good, this is fun, this is relaxing. I find it hilarious that Madden 23 with its $100 Game of the Year edition for just skins didn't make the cut <laughs> yeah i'm still i i still find it interesting that ali ali world is here that that's actually pretty cool yeah it you know there there aren't enough arcadey sports games anymore they're out, they're all going for sim and uh the indie space has been really doing its best to keep that alive so it's it's nice to just see that on there yeah mm-hmm. okay moving on to the next category we have best sim and strategy and we have Dune Spice Wars, Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope, Total War Warhammer 3, Two Point Campus, and Victoria 3. It's going to be Mario and Rabbit, so at least I hope it is. Two Point Campus has got to win Sonic's in this one. Oh no, that's Two Point Hospital. But, you know, Sonic could be in this one, so I'm rooting for you, Two Point Campus, but... Out of all the games that I played, Mario and Rabbids is a good time, and it is better than the first one. So it is in every way, shape, and form a better Damn. game. I really want to play it, but like money. It, honestly, it's okay for you to hold out because, like the first game, this is an Ubisoft game. It is oh, going to yeah. go down in price soon. That is yeah. the logic behind me not buying it immediately. It was gifted to me, or else I wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. Let's let's be real here. It'll probably be like on a holiday sale or something. 
Oh yeah. It, it and then it, the, there's probably going to be some version that's sold with the DLC. So it, I'm not terribly worried about it. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next category, we have best family game. And in this category, we have Kirby and Forgotten Land, Star Wars, I mean, Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, Sparks of Hope again, um, Nintendo Switch Sports, and Splatoon 3. This is basically the Nintendo category. Yeah, <laughs> okay, it would be I, really funny if Lego, Star, or if Lego Star Wars just won this against all of the other Nintendo games here. Well, last just, year it takes two to beat all the Nintendo games. Yeah? yeah. I love the divorce game. It's such a great family game. Yeah. Category issues aside. Uh, I'd love if Kirby won. Uh, I don't know why the hell Nintendo Switch Sports is here. They could have probably figured something else out, but whatever. Uh, You know what? Just to give it, just to not give it to a game I already nominated. I mean, I already picked um, on my end. I'm either going to give it to Splatoon 3 or Kirby. I would love for Kirby to win this. Oh my god. Um, Frequent. Here's how Switch Sports ended up here. They had that in Mario Strikers Battle League, which I've already sold because I got bored with it. They flipped a coin mm-hmm. and it landed on the Switch Sports <laughs> side. I it mean, to be fair, Switch Sports is the better game. It couldn't land on the Kirby Dream Course side. Like, you couldn't just have two Kirby games on here. Kirby Dream Buffet. <laughs> yeah. But um, as someone, so uh, editor put in prices right. The like you won thing, make confetti fall down. This is the first category where I've played every single game in this category. Isn't Rox the editor? Yes. Yes, um, I am. <laughs> are you gonna do that? Are you gonna do that, Rox? If I remember to. I mean, it's in the it's in the file. So. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I love Kirby this year. Absolutely, I did. Do I love Splatoon 3? Absolutely, I do. Because Splatoon has great single player and great multiplayer. Kirby was a fantastic time through and through. I could see LEGO Star Wars honestly taking this. As somebody who played this, this has been a breath of fresh air in the LEGO franchise. It is not your typical LEGO game, and it really shows. Yeah. So I, yes. Do I want Kirby or Splatoon to take it? Yes. Will I be okay if LEGO Star Wars takes it? Yes. This is one of the best LEGO games I have played in years. Problem is, this has been a, a year stuffed with not necessarily like great games, but just a ton of really solid games that we yeah. like just don't have time to play all of them. Yeah, I know people were basically calling this 2017 Part 2. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't go that far, but it's... Uh... Where's Sonic Mania 2, then? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, uh, Sega, get on that. <laughs> yeah. On to the next category, we have best fighting game. We have DNF Duel, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, All Star Battle R, King of Fighters. Uh, That's fifteen. Fifteen. Multiverses and Sifu. <laughs> Sifu's not a fighting game. Sifu's That's a, a roguelike. Yeah. Uh, look. If if Sifu wins, there's going to be a riot, so that's probably not going to win. Sifu wins. Sifu so wins. The, the only one... So I'm voting for Multiverses, not because I think it's the best fighting game, but because it's the only one here I've actually played. Uh, I mean, JoJo probably could have won if uh, they actually updated the online. Uh, so that's not probably going to win. Could be King of Fighters 15. I've heard that one's pretty decent. I've heard a lot of people throwing out DNF Duel. Yeah, so I think it probably is going to be DNF Duel. <laughs> I, I I wish Multiverses was better. I feel like it had a lot of hype. And unlike Fortnite, that like the hype died and they found a way to bring it back and make it hype again. Multiverses hype has just really died for me. I feel like the fact that their guest characters have not been stellar, the fact that their social media team is like kind of silent about updates and stuff like that. It's like, oh boy, we got Rick and Morty and LeBron James and two Gremlins characters. And Gremlins are cool, don't get me wrong, Gizmo is amazing. But it's like, where are... For as many franchises as you have to pull from... Why are you holding back so much? So yeah. 
And then Sifu, you know what? I hope Sifu wins. Let's burn the Game Awards to the ground, and you know what? Let's do this. Because I know that we'll be sitting there with Subtle Plug, Good Vibes Gaming, watching this with our fellow community friends, wishing for the slow, boring show to end. Because last year's show was a drag, aside from Sonic. Let's be real here. We're mostly just here for the announcements. Yeah, I mean, that's what everyone's here for. Indeed. Uh, okay, moving on to the next category, we have Best Role-Playing Game. And for this, we have Elden Ring, Live Alive, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Triangle Strategy, and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. All so, right, we, we all know we all know it's going to be Elden Ring, right? We all know it's going to be Elden Ring, but I really want it to be Legends Arceus. <laughs> I actually really want it to be live alive, but uh, yeah, oh, I think Xenoblade Three could also take it, considering they're nominated for Game of the Year. But yeah, but like, we'll, it, it's probably we'll going there. to be Elden Ring. Yeah. What about Triangle Strategy? Don't you want the scales of fate? What a, that what should have been Bell under. Tri- the, what about Triangle Strategy? <laughs> you are, should, they should have put Triangle Strategy under the the best uh, strategy game. Why was that not there? Mm. I don't know, but I'm I'm rooting for Legends Arceus. It is one of the big surprise hits. It was a very solid start yeah. to the year. Honestly, yeah. I just wish there was more of it. Like I, I I'm I'm playing Scarlet and Violet as we speak. Uh and I I I'll be honest, I wish there was more of uh uh Legends Arceus instead. I wish I'll, they'd done DLC. Maybe yeah, I was about to say year. I'm surprised I'm surprised we didn't get DLC for it. We yeah. might I, I don't think at this point. I think at this point they'll be focusing on the DLC for Scarlet and Vi- Violet. Yeah. Could be wrong, focusing but... on at the time of this recording, <clears throat> making it run better. Oh, who said that? Yeah, no, that's probably going to be in the next like week or so. Probably put out a patch, but yeah. Okay, moving on to the next category, we have best action adventure, and for this we have a Plague Tale Requiem, God of War Ragnarok. Rise and Forbidden Rest, Stray, and Tunic. Basically all the Game of the Year nominees. What the fuck? Kitty uh, game. <laughs> Kitty uh, game. So I actually don't think it's going to be Stray. I think it's probably going to be God of War. But Yeah. I I hope I hope we do get a slight repeat from last year where like one game didn't take it all. I liked the fact that Metroid Dread won last year, for example. Yeah, and I it liked win, it was really I, I, what did it win last year? Metro Dread won Best Action Adventure Game. Good. Like it, it was. <laughs> <laughs> like it just it it was. Like it's I, not even an opinion, it just was. I high key hope that it's tunic, but it it's more than likely gonna be God of War or Horizon. I'm it's okay. Not, it's not gonna be Horizon. It's not gonna be Horizon. It's going to be God of War. I promise you it's going to be God of War. Horizon just came out at an unfortunate time. It came out right in between Legends Arceus and Elden Ring. Yeah, I don't think Legends yeah. Arceus was as much of a problem, but yeah. Okay. It, it's just it, the Horizon franchise cannot cast, catch a break. It's it's just not uh, just out of curiosity, who did it uh lose out to in 2017? Uh under which category? Uh, uh, the answer is probably Zelda, no matter the category. It was probably Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Alright, uh, on to the next category. We have Best Action Game. And we have Bayonetta 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Neon White, Sifu, and Shredder's Revenge. Sifu, where it actually belongs. I really hope it's Shredder's Revenge, but it's probably going to be Bayonetta 3. It, I don't think it's going to be banned in three. I, I think they might give it to Call of Duty. I hope it's Shredder's Revenge. It, it, the combat in it is simple but incredibly fun. I'd be okay if Sifu took this. Sifu is a sleeper hit. Like it came, it got talked about, but it also kind of again came and went. This is a year where it was very easy to miss a lot of games because so much came out and. Yeah, I, I could see Sifu taking it. Yeah. Alright, next category. Best VR AR. 
After the Fall, Among Us VR, Bone Lab, Moss Book 2, and Rat Matter 2. I don't have an opinion on yeah. any of this because I don't have VR. I feel like considering the only one I heard about here was Among Us VR, that might say something, but I mean, none of us know anything about VR to my knowledge. Like Homecoming, I get, you... I get way too motion sick. I tried VR and it made me feel very bad. Yeah, so I don't know if any of us are really qualified to talk about this. Yeah. Um, VR gamers, comment who you want to win. And if you're watching this after the Game Awards, VR gamers, comment who you wanted to win. And then so, call us idiots for not knowing anything about VR. I'm going to assume that it's going to be Among Us VR just because memes. <sighs> but uh, yeah, we'll leave this one to you, audience. Pick who you think is going to win. Anyway, uh, on to the next category. We have uh, innovation and accessibility. And for that, we have As Dusk Falls, God of War Ragnarok, Return to Monkey Island, Last of Us Part 1, and The Quarry. Isn't Last of Us not even out yet? It is. It, it's out, but it's like... it's a. Um, well, what 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 is it nominated in this area for? Like, what did it do exactly? I don't know actually. Well, I have like accessibility. Yeah. Well, what what is what did it do that made it like accessible? Like, why why is it nominated in this category? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, I feel like this is in our category that we're not necessarily equipped for. Well, yeah. I will say this: uh, the the first one there, as Dusk Falls, that is an Xbox Game Studios game, and Xbox is very good at accessibility, like really good at it. So I feel like that probably is going to do well. But uh, other than that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know because I haven't played any of these, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I am completely on board though for more accessibility. Also, Same. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm the only one here who owns an Xbox, so that's probably why. Oh, I own one. Oh, okay. I have, yeah, I have a Series S. I just don't play it. Yeah. But uh, anyway, on to the next category. We have best community support game, and with it, we have Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, and No Man's Sky. Fortnite. I can see it being Fortnite, but I can also see it being 14 again. Yeah, yeah, 14 makes a lot of sense. Yeah, uh, cuz it, it won last year, didn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, the community support for most of these games is pretty good. Especially like No Man's Sky is uh it, it's impressive how good the uh the community support for No Man's I, Sky is. I think Fortnite is going to get some pluses because it added no build mode this year. Oh, yeah. And that was, like, a big, like, leap for people, but yeah. Yeah, I never play on build mode anymore, because I don't have to, because I hate building. Yeah, zero build mode is just one of the best features I've had it. And that's coming from someone who doesn't even play Fortnite that much, to be yeah. honest. I should probably uh, play more. I want to unlock Spider-Gwen, but... Yeah, yeah. same. Uh, moving on to the next category, we have Best Mobile Game. And for this, we have Apex Legends Mobile, Diablo Immortal, Genshin Impact, Marvel Snap, and Tower of Fantasy. I Marvel think we all Snap. Yes, Marvel Snap. <laughs> yeah. we, we, all, we all choose Marvel Snap. I mean, we I don't all... think that's going to be what wins, but I, I do think Marvel Snap is the best. Yeah, one c here. come on. We, gotta, we, we all got to choose Marvel Snap here, but let's be real here. It's probably going to be Genshin Impact again. Uh, I hope not. It's like, y'all, Marvel Snap is, it's so well made for what it is. It could have been so much worse. Right? But it's like, it could have been so much worse. What a glowing endorsement. <laughs> well, the fact that the, it's got a good battle pass system, it's fun to play, it's very quick and easy to pick up and play. Like, there's so many nights where I don't feel like picking up my Switch and stuff, and I will play Marvel Snap for like an hour, and I will be happy. Like, Marvel, Sna Marvel Snap is just so good. It's so it good. Is. And <laughs> also, hashtag Squirrel Girl deck. Just saying. You have a problem. 
You best do. card in the game. Squirrel you Girl have... is sack fodder. That is all she no. is. <laughs> I have won the game without using her for that, and I will continue to. That's because the game's easy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, just just do like me and just run a Spider Woman deck. Anyway, enough <laughs> enough endorsing Marvel Snap. <laughs> Marvel Pass. Disney, 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 Disney Pass, please. We became <laughs> shills for a hot second. <laughs> We became <laughs> shills, literally, like, we ripped our shirts off and had Marvel Snap t-shirts under our... <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it is good. Up next is Best Indie, and of this, we have Cult of the Lamb, Neon White, Sifu, Stray, and Tunic. It's gonna Kitty be Stray. Game. Cat yeah, Simulator. Yeah, it's probably gonna be Stray. I mean, I could see... Cult of the Lamb coming out of nowhere and taking it as like a dark horse, but like, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, the thing I I didn't play Cult of the Lamb. I know a lot of people love it. Um, just the much like Binding of Isaac, I can respect it from a distance, but the whole like aesthetic and grotesqueness actually pushed me away from Cult of the Lamb. It's not the it's not grotesque on the same level as Binding of Isaac at all. Oh, yeah. like, it's not even close. Yeah. Binding it's of much, Isaac is it's uh, much more cutesy in comparison. Yeah. Yeah. Like just Cult of the Lambs, like whole premise and stuff. Like, but let's be real here. If it comes out next year, we all know what. This is a hot take, long prediction. But if it comes out and it's as good as it looks, uh, we know Plucky Squire is going to take this <laughs> next year. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, we also next year are getting uh, a few other good-looking indie games, but that that's that's a oh. discussion for next year. River yeah. City Girls Two, please yeah, come out. <laughs> yep, that that's a future playthrough. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. As it stands, Stray's probably winning this kitty uh, game. Next category is best ongoing game. We have Apex Legends, Destiny Two, Final Fantasy Fourteen, Fortnite, and Genshin Impact. Kitty game. It's not even in this category. (laughs) (laughs) And the award uh... goes to Stray. Wait, what? (laughs) Look, I like uh, I I like Destiny Two and Fortnite and Apex Legends. It's it's probably going to be Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah, I could see I could see Genshin. Genshin had very big updates this year, and a lot of people loved the story and the new characters. So. I All think right. it's going to be Genshin. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm giving my vote to 14. I can, I genuinely see 14 taking this. Okay. Um, moving on to the next category, we have Games for Impact. <laughs> and it is A Memoir Blue, As Dusk Falls, Citizen Sleeper, Endling Extinction is Forever, Hindsight, and I was a t- teenage ex colonist, exo colonist, exo colonist. Also, you read that as extension. It's extinction. Extinction is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to say <laughs> extinction. I'm going so fast. I just uh, endling. But, the extension cord is forever. Yeah. It goes all the way from think, the garage into yeah. the front yard. I don't. I don't want to play endling. I don't want to see baby. I don't want to see cubs die. Oh, th- that's and that's probably that's... why it's going to win this, by the way. Oh, and that game has permadeath too. If you lose your cup, lose your pup, you it's gone. I don't want to see. I don't want to see puppers die. Uh, well, uh, bad news. Uh, that's probably what's going to win this. I mean, I'm fine with the winning. I just don't want to play it. <laughs> um, moving on to the next category. We have best performance, and we have. Uh, I mean, Horizon Forbid, uh, Horizon Forbidden West with Ashley Birch, a Plague Tale Requiem with um, Charlotte McBurney. Yeah, yeah. Okay, God of War Ragnarok. Ah, why can I not talk all of a sudden? Uh, God of War Ragnarok with Christopher Judge. Um, mortality with Man and Gage, 
and God of War Ragnarok with Sonny's. Oh my God, I'm not even gonna. Pre- I'm not even gonna. Sonny yeah. Soldier. Soldier. Okay. I don't know any of these uh, actress. I mean, Ashley actors, Birch is probably so. going to win this because she's just an incredible voice actress. But yeah, she's like the only one I'm familiar with. I don't know the rest of them. I would be okay with Ashley Birch or Christopher Judge. She's really. Yeah brought a lot of humanity to Kratos. Yeah, and boy. D- boy. 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 Dad of boy. Dad of boy. This time we stab Thor the game. Good. Thor's had it too good for too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't watch Thor Love and Thunder. <laughs> I don't know about that. Up next. Uh, we have oh, best sorry. audio design. We have COD of uh, y- you know what? Fuck it. COD Mo- COD Modern Warfare Two, Elden Ring, God of War, Ragnarok, Gran Turismo Seven, uh, Gran Turismo Seven, and Horizon Forbidden West. Why can I not talk right now? Gran Turismo Seven, Seven, Gran Turismo Seven, but uh. Gran Turismo sex fin. It is that time of the night, folks. But, uh, yeah. Let's be real here. It's probably gonna go to Elden Ring. I mean, yeah, I don't know shit about any of these games. Um, but I yeah. think Elden Ring. I think Elden Ring. We all know yeah. how the Game Awards likes to simp over Souls Lakes, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's in for Hades. That that's true, but Hades is also it, specifically in audio design. Hades is really like incredibly solid. Yeah. Up next, we have best score in music. Then we have uh, a Plague Tale Requiem, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Metal Hellslinger, and Xenoblade Three. This is Xenoblade's category to lose, and it probably will lose it, but like Xenoblade always has like high tiered music. I say either Xenoblade or Elden Ring. Uh our fellow YouTuber friend who is not here with us, Skull Kid, showed us music from Elden Ring and it is epic. Like You know what I'm surprised is not here though? What? Sonic Frontiers. That game soundtrack is so good. It's butt it's, rock. Well, it's not butt rock, but like the kind of music they use in that is not the kind of music that gets nominated at something like the Game Awards. Yeah, yeah but it's I, still a still a bummer. It's all the big budget stuff, but yeah. Well, yeah, I wish Kirby in the Forgotten Land was here. That's my favorite song of the year, and also don't even get me started on Shredder's Revenge. That one especially. T. Oh, uh, mutants part. over Broadway. Let's go. Panic in the Sky as well. But just that game's entire soundtrack is so good and wow. But uh <laughs> yeah, it's probably gonna be Elden Ring. Yeah, I'd be pretty surprised if it wasn't. Uh up next we have Best Art Direction. We have Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden Rest, Scorn, and Stray. Kitty For- game. You're forbidden from resting, Rox? Wait, what? You said forbidden rest. That's what I need right now is rest. <laughs> <laughs> forbidden rest, the life of a content creator. Horizon uh, rocks forbidden rest. <laughs> hey, Jeez, it was your man. choice to do the recording this late. Yeah, yes it was. <laughs> Behind the curtain. Rooting That's for what it. Everyone wants to see. Um, I'm rooting for the kitty game. Yeah, I mean, well, art direction? Yeah, it could be the kitty game. <laughs> uh, I hope it's not Scorn. Scorn is disgusting. I'd never want to see that game again in my life. I've never seen it in action. but It's uh, disgusting. Ugh. Like, it's what? actively disgusting. Oh, so it's like a modern-day Binding of Isaac, then? No, it's more like they took like concept art from like Alien and then made it Slimier. Ew. Oh. Oh, hell no. 
Also, I could see God of War taking this. But honestly, if we're talking about design animation, this would be a great category for Horizon. Horizon is a vivid, beautiful game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, like, this is a toss-up, because as much as I think Scorn's, like, disgusting, that's kind of the aesthetic they were going for, and they may find that uh, a good enough reason to, you know, give it the uh, the nom- or the, the reward here. Yeah. Uh, up, up next, we have Best Narrative. A Plague Tale Requiem, Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, and Immortality. <laughs> Heard you emphasizing that W. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to emphasize it this time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, narrative, I mean, it could be any of these, to be honest, although God I don't know enough about Immortality. I could say I, it being either Horizon or God of War. I could see God of War. Because the thing with the Elden Ring style games, it's like you have to do a lot of additional digging on the lore in those games. So is that good storytelling if I have to, you know, go dig when I could just have it in the game myself? That depends on what you're looking for in a story. Like I'd argue, I I would argue against most people that uh, the storytelling in Breath of the Wild was really good, but. Nobody's going to agree with me on that. That game would have been good if it didn't rain all the time. Well, that's another issue entirely. Anyway, um... Rex Rex is done. I am. We we only got two more categories. Uh, Oh my god, it's the exact same games! Except one... Best game direction, and it's literally all the games that was nominated for the last one. Except well, for Stray. Well, except for yeah. Stray. Yeah, they replaced something. I don't remember which one, but they replaced something with Stray. Kitty and, game. Yeah. I mean, Kitty cat. game. Yeah. The cat always wins. Always vote for the cat. Kitty game. Oh. We, we need more cat simulator. We need kitty game. You can be as nice of a cat or as much as a butt if you want to. We it's need more just, games like that. It's just Cat Simulator 2022 featuring robots. Yeah, this is Untitled Goose Game, but with cat. Kitty game. Yeah. And now to the big one. The game of the year category with a Plague Tale Requiem. Elden Ring, God of War Ragnarok, Ryzen Forbidden West, Stray, and Xenoblade 3. Kitty it's game. It's going to be Elden Ring. I want it to be Stray, but it's going to be Elden Ring. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, we could get, we could all be incredibly surprised if it end up being Xenoblade, but I doubt it. Yeah. I mean, people have been praising Xenoblade left and right. Um, I could see it being God of War, Elden Ring, or Xenoblade, but yeah, the I'm rooting like, for Kitty Game. Like Last it's game. In, it's impressive that Xenoblade got nominated because I know it usually wouldn't, but it would be even more amazing if it actually won. Yeah, I know the Game Awards are probably trying to like sh- show like, hey, you guys can't predict us. We're not that predictable, but they they are. Well, uh, last year they were a little less predictable because they really hopped around a lot. Deathloop didn't sweep the way that a lot of us thought it was going to. Metro yeah, no, Dread actually won. Yeah, no one two took the game of the year. Yeah, I was going to say, and that's one that literally no one was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, especially because It Takes Two was competing with some very heavy hitters last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh... I'm, yeah. Yeah, even so, Metroid Dread had a better chance, I thought. But. So now that we're at, at the end, uh, how about we we all give our general overall uh, thoughts on basically the nominees? Like, it, because like I, I have this issue, and I know I, I know other people who do too. Where it's like. There should be a time frame because, like, just God of War Ragnarok as an example, that game just came out. Yeah, they gotta like de-emphasize. They gotta find a way to like de-emphasize more recent game releases so that they can like counter 
uh, the like recency bias. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I, I think the nominees are okay. I kind of wish, like, we, I wish we could have maybe even seen Kirby in, like, one or two more categories. But aside from that, like, this is going to be an okay show. I'm here for the announcements. One of my personal predictions for the show is that the Mario movie already copied Sonic Movie 2 by taking its release date one year later. I think we're going to get a Mario movie trailer. I think oh, that's going to be Nintendo's. Almost, I'm almost oh, I certain we will. I'm almost uh, I think we'll we get a game trailer for something from Nintendo, but that's that's a different... Uh... How about Advance Wars finally gets a release date? It's not going to be that. This is not the place to show Advance Wars. What? Watch that game ends up quietly getting cancelled. If it does, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm going to cry. That is like one of my favorite Nintendo series. That and Custom Robo and Rhythm Heaven are very, very, very near and dear to my heart. Bring and back I- Custom Robo, you cowards. I have all the custom... Well, I even have a Japanese import custom robo game. I have custom robo games. Please. Just please. You know what I would do if I was Nintendo? I would just quietly be like, oh, by the way, Game Boy Advance is uh, on NSO now for the family plan. Uh, See you all later. And just walk away. Or what they could do is put custom robo in 64 on uh, NSO. Metroid Prime 4 trailer. (laughs) I, I know that's Japan... Only, but I don't care. I'd they put it. games in Japanese on there. They put Panel de Pawn on there. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. I don't care. It's a Tetris it. Attack for some reason. Yeah, put put N64 Custom Robo on there. Put Animal Force 64 on there. Shadow Drop River City Girls too. I'm begging you, please. You and I, you and I both know that's not going to happen. Please, I would love begging that. Begging you. I'm low-key expecting something Marvel-related to get announced. Well, Midnight Suns came and went, and nobody talked about it. People are talking about the mobile game more than Midnight Suns. As they should be. Wait, Midnight Suns is out? Yeah. The RTS came out around the same time. I I heard literally nothing about it. Okay. I I heard literally nothing about that. Okay, I'm going to Google right now. Yeah. I'm going to Google, but I swore that Midnight Suns came out already. I don't think so. And if it did, that was the saddest release ever. (laughs) Midnight Suns release date. That's, uh... It just says 2022. Oh boy, that's not good. We'll release on December 2nd, 2022. Ah, okay. That makes sense. I was about to say, we're this late into the year and it still doesn't have a release date? That's not good. It sounds like it's about to get delayed. Uh, don't worry, you can get it for ninety nine ninety nine. Except I'm not going to. I'm not going to get period. Like, again... You know what? I would love to see because it was supposed to come out in 2022. It literally said 2020. Give us, guess, a, give us a release date for the Suicide Squad game. Rocksteady, where is that? I want to see more of that um, Wonder Woman game that they announced last year. Mm-hmm. No, I want to see, uh, uh, oh god, the uh, the James Bond game that uh, the the Hitman guys are working on. So yeah, and also put a lot of this stuff on Game Pass. I'm not made of money. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, that's why I have an Xbox, literally, because a lot of these trickle into Game Pass, and I'm like, yay. But um, I, I got a, I got a Xbox for other reasons. But also, we're here for memes. Hopefully, it's a good show. Hopefully, it's an a in- entertaining show, and hopefully, Jeff gets what he got at Summer Gamescom, where he tried to get the audience to interact, and no one said anything. I hope that he was- with sneakers again. That was hilarious. But uh, Monkey anyway. De Luffy. Uh, Mon- Monkey De Luffy, never, never forgetty. 
But Mo- anyway. Mojito uh, Luffy. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it's not my fault that that's the best thing ever. One Piece Odyssey with the lead Monkey de Luffy and his crew. Monkey, Monkey de Luffy. Monkey de Luffy. <laughs> that's what we're leaving off on. Monkey de Luffy. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, leave. Especially if you're friends of Monkey de Luffy. Quiet, you. Uh, <laughs> uh, head down to the comments. Post who you think is going to win these different categories. Till next time, bye.